Okay, how do you find the cotangent of 35 degrees? Well, the first thing you have to do is this. Go to your calculator, make sure it's on, and go to mode. Whoops, it's in radians. I need to make sure that it is in what? Here's arrow down, click over. Now I can go to second mode to get out. I had to make sure it was in degrees, otherwise I'm not going to get the right answer. Now I have the cotangent of 35 degrees. Wait, there's no cotangent button. Oh man, they don't want to pay more money to put more buttons on there? That's a business decision. But we don't have to have cotangent because we know this. The reciprocal of cotangent is tangent. So I'm going to go tangent 35 degrees. I can hit enter. And then because it's the reciprocal, I can just hit what? X to the what? Negative 1. And there we go. The cotangent of 35 degrees is 1.428. 1, if you kind of round that off to four decimal places. I can do this. I can do uh, tangent 35. Make sure to close the parentheses. Do x negative 1, because this will take the tangent of 35 and then reciprocate it automatically. And there's my answer. But the only way I can get cotangent is to do the reciprocal of tangent. Now something I do want to show you, we know the answer is 1.428. Suppose I had gone second tangent, 35. I just want to show you this is not correct. Oh, 88, that's nowhere near 1.4. So make sure, if you want to get it correct, you cannot use the second tangent button. You must use the tangent button and then the x negative 1 button. Otherwise, you will not get the correct answer. But the cotangent is the reciprocal tangent, so you must work the problem that way.